You know, you, you weren't scary. <laughs> no, you weren't scary. And it took a person like that to handle Chad. No, I'm gonna be honest with you. It took a person like you. I mean, but is that ego or is it just? No, it is? took a person like him to be able to understand. If you would have probably said from the jump, and you may have, I'm from Texas. <laughs> <laughs> you might have just. The rough spots y'all had in the beginning might have just blew out the way. Yeah, but he knew that. Did he know but, it? But the thing with Chad, I mean, even when it came to Barry, Barry said, well, Greg, he called me, Greg, uh, make sure Chad him is okay. Make make sure uh, I need you to go so, 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 so. That's why I end up having to go on tour with them outside of the Southwest region because I was, I was a national, but I was a field national, basically. Mm -hmm. But I had to go everywhere mm -hmm. because they did not trust because Chad didn't care about me. If he didn't respect you, you had nothing. Hey, but I you know, relate. so far, and, and, and you know, the thing which you have to realize about artists, I mean, all of all of these, mostly the majority of artists, they all have their own personalities. If you look at them, they're all are different yeah. in some way. Mm -hmm. So it's not like Chad was no different than anybody else. I mean, you know. I was working with R. Kelly. I could work with R. Kelly. I had no issue. But there are some people couldn't get him to do nothing. Now, see, so just, I was just about to say that when you talk about ego now. And, 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 no, well, see, I never saw that. Because, mm -hmm. see, I did his first show in Baton Rouge mm -hmm. when he was with R. Kelly in public announcement. And we was on a bus, mm -hmm. you know, went to Baton Rouge. I mean, I remember the first show we did at uh, uh, in Baton Rouge. And I said, okay, 6 a.m., we got to be up. You know who the first person was at the bus? Who? R. R. Kelly. Kelly. Public announcement I was on there that. because they because I was able to establish that relationship not mm -hmm. only with him with the whole group. Mm -hmm. So a lot of it's how you establish yourself with people. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. He probably didn't get a bunch of I ain't gonna say a bunch of ego to where he got out of control until you know after after you were after the first couple of albums, well after public announcement, I was saying. I never, I never had a problem with R. Kelly because I was there at the foundation. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So I never went through a lot of the issues that a lot of people with. The same thing with Forty. I mean, I still, you know, me and Forty still text. You know, you does know. he have a, a reputation? No, I never heard of Forty. Is great. Okay, who was the most difficult artist? If you can say, initially it was 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 it would have been Chad. <laughs> That's what I want you initially, to say. Initially. Initially. Yeah, yeah. And uh, let me see who else. He was a different animal, wasn't he? Yeah, Chad. But, you know, it, it, it's just like when I think, you, you notice I smile. When, yeah. Because yeah. you, cause Cause you're you know thinking how, about it. Yeah, because you know, you, you know how tight me and mom. Were. Yes. You know, it, that should tell you. Me, and, yeah. I love mom. I mean, she, she was, was so my heart. Sweet, she was so and, you know, she called me. I mean, even after I And left. think about how young Chad was, though. Yeah. 17? Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Still a kid. Yeah. But with that old soul, real old soul. What did y'all think about that? What that the, the the music that he was creating at that young of an age? I know you had seen. He was from. It, the, I, I mean, I, I mean, I was in Dallas. You gotta remember, yeah. I was in this region, so I'm in the club. Yes. So I'm seeing this. But at that you time, know, I wasn't gonna tell me something good. There was enough. That was but to it see was that. enough to get the deal done. Yeah. But you gotta remember when I think of Chad. I think of UGK. But you've been in the studio yeah. and watched them work. Yeah, but I think about the music. I yes. think about when I take a record, a UGK record out. I think about, I put a UGK record out and it goes, I just give it to him. I yeah. don't even have to say, hey man, I just a UGK. Mm -hmm. Let me play it. Mm -hmm. You know. But you being in the studio with, I mean, what I'm Classic. saying is this. Let me say this. You got a 17 year old kid. Go ahead. They're saying, I want the meters. <laughs> Asking if I, I need a Leslie organ. I remember all the stuff he used to ask yeah, for. See, at that young of an age. But he was a genius. Mm -hmm. There you go. I mean, man, you know, I, I, I really feel a certain way from the standpoint. I don't, I mean, we did not get an opportunity to see him peak. It's full yes. potential. We never, we missed that that full potential because his maturity, his growth was just coming. Yes. To go to another a whole different level. Yeah. I mean, got, do people realize the respect that, that UGK had when you get Jay-Z? Mm-hmm. 
mm. asking them mm. to do a record with right. you yeah. and turned into a, a monster a record. Monster yes. And, and they, they, made, nominated. they made Jive Records have to say, like, what? And not only that, just so many classics. Like, I believe with good music, it's the I mean, I'm still, you can put I it on any time. Yeah, side. years later, and you remember that. Slap. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and you know, sometimes I I will uh, ride around. Sometimes you know, and hear people you know bumping UGK. You know, smile. You know, mm-hmm. like wow. You know, and just bang. You know, yeah. and, and it's it, it, what gets me. Sometimes I'll be wondering, damn, did they even know about UGK? You know, because they be younger. Yes, but they yeah. up there bumping UGK. Yeah. You know? And you were there from the start. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Hey, it's your girl Jazzy K from Super Tight TV. We want to thank everyone who's been watching and subscribing. And if you enjoy this content, please hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time we drop a new video. No, I'm gonna get some game tuned in with Super Tight. Yeah. I get the low love from Big Bobo from the front seat, not no photos. 